Um, I was really pleased with the launch this morning. Normally it takes me about 40 minutes, but actually, despite having not sailed this season, um, she was rigged ready to go and in the water just under 35 minutes, which is pretty fast. I'm really pleased with that. So welcome to Plymouth Sound and here Queen Anne's Battery Marina. With southerly winds and outgoing tide I'm off for a day sail around the eastern sound to Fort Bothersand and then on to the Breakwater Fort, possibly then across to Corsand Bay. Um, it's beautiful, I've got practically the sound to myself, there's some divers just off the Breakwater um, and then there's a lovely old traditional boat just clearing the eastern breakwater. I'll go for a sail around the breakwater and back into the sound but I've got to remember that the tides are going out so I've got to be a bit careful coming back in because I'll be against the tidal flow. Other than that I want to practice just sailing using sails rather than tiller. Um, remind myself about balancing her so that she sails herself. It's surprising how much I forget over the winter season. As you can see, um, the jib has failed to deploy, and I have absolutely no idea why. I've checked all the lines, they're all running freely, so the only thing I can think of is that one of the furlers, um, either at the top or the bottom, has jammed and is just not allowing it to um, go any further. Poor seamanship, really, because I should have checked this before I launched, um, but I was so in so much hurry to get out on the water that I just assumed it would work. It's never ever failed in, in nine years, um, so I'm a bit baffled. gentle sailing at the moment. Um, we're making um, a couple of knots and it's, it's quite nice actually, it's really relaxed. Gorgeous day. Just enough haze to keep that sun from glaring. This is what retirement is about, isn't it? All the more better when it's in a boat that you've built yourself. Hopefully on the next voyage um, I'll have my new set of oars which I'm building. Um, workmanlike is probably how I'd describe them at this moment in time. Not exactly straight. I'm the only person who can draw a curved line using a straight ruler. Mathematically challenged I think the phrase is. jib. I should have checked that. It's um, a right mess. But there we go. Um, note to myself really, isn't it? Uh, to just make sure um, that everything is working properly.
she's sailing herself at the moment um, and she's just about holding her course and once you get the sails um, balanced um, it's pretty good as long as you don't move your weight around um, too much she'll um, she'll hold the course pretty well um, so I can get some food and some drink or sort out camera batteries and keep a watchful eye out day and apart from that gym perfect the European elections today and I'm quite grumpy and I'm not a grumpy person but I can't believe the shambles we find ourselves in at the moment the Brexit party well I can't believe how they're surging ahead in the polls um, a pro-European I find this very very difficult I respect the democratic vote um, but there is nothing yet that I've seen that will remotely convince me that this is in the best interests of the country uh, breaking away from Europe like this. There still, there we are, that's democracy for you. Sailing out here is a good way of managing my anger at the moment. Um, I'm just here enjoying this lovely sail, tacking across to the Breakwater Fort. Now, if only some seals and porpoise could come and join me, that would be absolutely perfect. Join us for part two of this day's sail, when Arwen and I ghost along the western end of the Breakwater into Corsan Bay, before returning northwards down the western side of the Sound and past Drake's Island. Thank you.